the night sky will actually have a really special feature for us to check out. It's pretty exciting. That's because Mars is going to shine bigger, brighter than any other time in the past couple of years. Now, as the red planet approaches the closest point to its orbit in Earth, that's when our good chance to check it out comes. Now, the best part is you don't need a big fancy telescope. You can check this out with the naked eye or some binoculars. Joining us this morning, we are excited to have NASA Goddard Space Flight Center uh, in Maryland. It's Dr. Jennifer Wiseman. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Dr. Wiseman, we appreciate your time. You're a senior scientist on the Hubble Telescope Project. You guys have really been observing and paying a lot of close attention to Mars lately. And just as our skies clear out, what do you suggest if we want to check out Mars? Well, this is a great time to go out at night and look up in the sky at Mars. You can see Mars rising just after sunset in the southeastern sky, but it'll be up throughout the night. So if you have clear skies, go out and look up. With your eyes, it'll just look like a big bright red star, but with your binoculars or a telescope, you can see even more features. It's a great time to see Mars because Earth and Mars are lining up on the same side of the sun, something we call opposition, where Earth is between the sun and Mars, and that means Mars is relatively close to Earth, which means it will appear bright and big in the sky, and so it's a wonderful time to observe Mars, as we have recently taken advantage of with the Hubble Space Telescope. And uh, you, I think I read that Mars will be about half the distance that the Earth is from the Sun, so relatively close on your scale of things. Now, the Hubble telescope, you said you guys have been taking some incredible new images. Uh, let's check those out if we could. Certainly. So our new image of Mars is terrific. With the Hubble telescope, we can see features as small as 30 miles across or smaller. So we see things like this large Arabia Terra uh, uplands desert in the center there, kind of orangish colored, the darker bedrock below. Um, on the right hand side of the image you can see a cloudy region that surrounds a dormant volcano. You can see wispy clouds throughout, uh, throughout the planet and you can see the polar regions to the north and south. So the, the, the detail on this image is just spectacular. That's fascinating. I need to grab those from you so I can make a screensaver for my computer. Now, when we think of the Hubble telescope, we often think of galaxies that are far, far away. This thing has been up there for about 26 years orbiting the Earth. And you say you've learned a lot about our own solar system from the Hubble. What have you guys found? Well, the Hubble Space Telescope is in terrific shape because the astronauts have serviced it from time to time. So even though it's been operating for 26 years, it's sending us extraordinary data. By looking at planets like Jupiter for years and years and years, and, and we've been able to see that things change on planets. Here's Saturn with its beautiful aurora that we can see with Hubble's infrared eyes. We've been able to see that our solar system is dynamic. We've discovered new moons we didn't know about of Pluto, and that's helped New Horizons, the probe that recently passed Pluto, to chart its course and to look closely at those new moons. So the Hubble telescope has given us extraordinary information about the dynamics of the solar system and is continuing to monitor these planets. But we also are looking uh, far beyond our solar system to star forming nebulae in our galaxy and to very distant galaxies beyond. Been up for there for since 1990 and it's still going pretty incredible. Uh, now just briefly, you said the next few nights are the best to check out Mars. Does it last anywhere beyond that or is it just kind of this weekend? No, it's actually uh, going to be a good viewing for, uh, you know, at least the next couple of weeks and beyond. So if you uh, can go out and find a, a clear night, it's a wonderful time to look. In fact, it's actually uh, the 30th of this month when Earth and Mars are closest to each other. So you have quite a few nights to choose from uh, in the weeks to come. Great. Dr. Jennifer Wiseman from NASA in Maryland, thank you so much for your time this morning. My pleasure. And finally, we will get some clear nights here ahead in the coming days. But